Praise the Lord today, saints of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, God is so faithful and good. He's keeping his children in every moment and every hour of every day. He never fails to reveal what's going on. Amen. He always shows us. Father God, we thank you today for the King's Road broadcast here on the third day of November 2022. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord, that you are faithful to give a word to speak to your people each day to remind us, hallelujah, of your great and awesome keeping power. <laughs> hallelujah. And even though that old wicked flesh, man, the world, the devil try to trip us up all the time, you always come right in. You always show. You always reveal what's happening, what's going on, what the remedy is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We praise you today. Keep your church, Lord. Keep your children, your sheep today, Lord. You do it, Lord. You show your church today. Every one of your people, Lord. Exactly what's happening right now. In all of our hearts, in our minds, show us, Lord, how to surrender more to you and to love you and to praise you at all times, no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Now today we're going to be in Psalm 89. This is a powerful psalm. I was asking the Lord this morning, what's going on, Lord? Hallelujah. How you doing? Praise the Lord. And and just worshiping God this morning and thanking Him and reading the Word. And, and we just were so blessed that ministry that was given years ago is still blessing people today amen mm -hmm. because it's god's truth and god's word mm -hmm. and his truth and word is everlasting it never fails if the world proceeds on with different events happening for another hundred years these messages spoken through this ministry and several other ministries many ministries throughout the earth will be valid will be relevant for that time, a hundred years from now, if Jesus tarries. But we don't believe Jesus is going to tarry. He's coming. Mm -hmm. Amen? Soon. soon and very soon, we're going to see the King. Hallelujah. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more dying there, oh, we're going to see the King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there. We're going to see the King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to see the King. And there won't be any crying there either. He'll wipe away every tear. Hallelujah. This morning, I was sitting there and Sharon and I were talking and my computer got unplugged, but I didn't know it was unplugged. But I found out after doing some troubleshooting with my <laughs> my voltage tester and was checking the plug and looking at it. And then I looked at the little box. That, I said, oh, it's unplugged. And the Lord gave me the message. We have to be plugged in to the Lord daily and stay plugged in. Okay. So we get unplugged when we start thinking about me, myself, and I. Okay. We get unplugged from the Lord. And the Lord says, just focus on me today, every day, for the rest of your life. I will lead you through. I will bring you through the fire. I'll bring you through the flood. Amen. Go ahead. The funny thing about it is that <laughs> that computer, your computer, <coughs> that you were getting the broadcast ready on or whatever, <laughs> and then you send it over to our my computer, but it 
you turned it on, it wouldn't go on. It no. was just a black screen, and you were like, oh, because you've had trouble with the cord for a while. Right, I had trouble with the cord, and it's and got a broken hinge. And... So then uh, you were just saying, well, let's test it, see if it works. Well, it didn't show anything, you know. Well, it didn't work. Well, you were talking about <laughs> cutting it off and, oh, and soldering, soldering it, it yeah, back new, on and all one, this yeah. stuff, and yeah. then... Uh, then you notice that it was unplugged because we have to keep it plugged in for it to work. Right. So it was unplugged a little bit. From the <laughs> but you already got your thing going on. You're going to do this. And, that. and see, that that can be a spiritual thing. You know, if we, if we don't see the Lord right. moving or right. doing stuff like, we feel like it oh we're making we're making happen, preparation happen. Yeah. to go do it ourselves i understand <laughs> yeah, that. yeah so right. then what happens that human nature kicks in right let me just do it let yeah. me just find a way yeah 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 and the lord says no well that's good here it is right here oh, hallelujah. it's just stay plugged in right yeah stay plugged, stay in. plugged amen. in amen because that's where the peace is that's right that's where the power is <coughs> that's where the protection is right that's so good thank you hallelujah. father god thank you lord hallelujah uh, hallelujah hallelujah god is so good you know it amazes me all the travel over the years we've had with uh putting the broadcast forth it's like and god has just continued to keep us going and yeah sometimes you it's amazing how he keeps these computers going you know with everything that goes on but the lord i just say okay lord like this morning i said okay lord if you want us to broadcast you're gonna have to take care of this Amen. and so he that's when he realized that it was unplugged we so. tried to graduate the windows 10 but we just couldn't stand with we couldn't mm -mm. work it mm -mm. so we 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 use windows 7 and but that's good. We like Windows 7, so it works for us. So, praise the Lord. But anyway, we have to be plugged in. He just, I mean, all that you just <laughs> said is so true, man. Uh, praise the Lord. That is so good. Uh, praise God. Now, but we have to continually. It's, it's a daily thing. When you wake up in the morning, you want to worship God when you wake up. You just say, thank you, Jesus. I'm awake today. I want to do your will today. You know, and you just wake up rejoicing and no matter what the previous day had. I mean, just wake up rejoicing and thank the Lord for the day and start going forward with the Lord and doing what He's told you to do. And Psalm 89 is a real, really, really good psalm. I just love this psalm. Uh, the first verse, it just is so good, you know. Go ahead, honey, read that. Maskil of Ethan. The Ezraite. The Ezraite. Some of these words, boy, I tell you what. No. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. Hallelujah. Now that's a song. Yeah. It is. It's a song. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. Ever I will sing. sing. Yes, I, I will sing. sing. Hallelujah. I, I will sing, sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. And with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. And with my mouth Will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations? I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing, oh, I will sing, hallelujah. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Glory to God. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> It's a song, and, and oh, some of these songs, they've made songs out of them. That's one of the, my favorites there. For I've said, mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shalt thou establish in the very heavens. Oh, hallelujah, his faithfulness in the very heavens. I speak to God all the time in my heart. I'm just talking to him. <coughs> and 
he gives me answers in the heavens with meteors. He does. He answers me all the time with meteors. <laughs> and this morning, three times he answered me with a meteor in the same spot in the sky. It was so powerful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then verse 3, I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David, my servant, thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. And what's the last word on that verse? Selah. Selah. Think about that. See, we are part of the generation, all generations. We are the generation today that's saved and filled with the Spirit of God going forward. The enemy wants to snuff us out. He wants to kill every Christian. Uh, he want, The devil wants to kill every person on the face of the earth so that he will kill every Christian. But he can't do it. He can't do it. Because God said, I have made a covenant with my chosen Amen. And he's faithful. You know, I was just thinking. And look on the little things, what seems little, maybe in people's eyes, but anything that God does is not little. That's right. Okay? It's a big thing. And just yesterday, uh, <clears throat> the Lord gave us a bag of chicken food. And we had need some. We mm -hmm. were getting real low and stuff. And uh, this man that we had been giving eggs to, he brought us a bag of chicken food. And we were thanking the Lord Amen. because we were Amen. asking the Lord right. about it. And here it comes. That's right. Here it comes. And that's not the only time. You know, even, even little uh, desires in our heart. You know, I remember one time not that long ago. I was sitting here looking out the window, and I was like, Lord, I sure would like some blueberries. I sure would like to have some blueberries. And right after that, here comes this guy up in his truck. He came over, comes over to visit sometimes, drove up in his truck. He had a whole bunch of stuff, and he said, you guys want some? And we said, okay. And he in that stuff, there was bags of blueberries. Frozen blueberries. Frozen blueberries. Big bags. He said, take all you want, man. And not that... only that, the faithfulness of God Amen. is we needed our road done one time. Yeah. Real bad. It had rained so much, and it had rutted out our road. And I was like, and we didn't have the money to have anybody come and fix it. And I was just sitting here looking out the window and talking to the Lord. And I said, you know what, Lord? You could just have somebody pull right up here in the front of our property and just have the equipment to fix our road. And just fix our road for free. And right as I got through saying that, here comes this truck pulling up in front of the, <laughs> uh, on the road. And it had one of them... Had a bobcat a on the bobcat back. bobcat on the back of it. And it was the neighbor. Yeah. And he didn't... got down and pulled the bobcat out and started working <laughs> on the road. <laughs> Fixed and, the whole road, man. I mean, to us, nothing is too little to declare the faithfulness of God. Amen. Okay? Amen. Everything God does is, is big. That's right. It's big. And... That's right. He's in the process right now of doing big things. Amen. He is. See, you don't want to put a lock on the Lord. No. Don't want to put him in a box. That's right. Don't want to say, hey, this is the way I think in my mind that it should be done. That's right. No, because he'll blow your doors <coughs> off every time. Every time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Re He's faithful. He's faithful. <laughs> yeah. Read verse 5. And the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O mm, Lord. Thy faithfulness. Oh, i got to say something else. Go ahead. About his faithfulness. We were running real low on, well, actually, we had just ate our last meat. Yeah. We, we thought. And we had to clean out our freezer. We had to defro defrost our freezer chest freezer and I'm going to tell you what 
we did not even realize this, but we got to looking through there and there was a whole bunch of meat in packages we did not even know was still there. Right. And it's like the Lord, he's, he's just opening up all these things. He said, you don't think it's there, <laughs> but it is. And I know it is. And at the <coughs> right time, I'm going to show you about it. Right. No matter what it is. That's right. No matter what it is. Amen. See, that's where he's, we've talked a lot lately about faith. On the evening devotional, especially, it's just faith, mm -hmm. faith, faith. That's you gotta right. believe. You gotta believe. And, and he you, gives you that belief. Yes. It's by the faith of Christ. It's His faith in us. Amen. Go ahead. And it's just like the Lord is saying. You gotta get away from this looking at what you can see. Cause see, everything God does, it's just like, just like that meat was hidden in the freezer because we had thought that was it you know mm -hmm. we didn't have any more in there and then the lord got us to looking through there because we had to defrost take everything it. out to defrost yeah and, clean and it. so it's like he's saying you gotta know i know exactly even before you call I'm i've already answered. got it taken Amen. care of Amen. i've already got it in the works that's right See, the enemy wants us to think just the opposite. That's right. God's not faithful. He's taken so long. That's right. He's delaying it. He said, no, you know, you don't have this and you don't have that. And you're going to fall into this ditch over here and be covered up and swallowed up, blah, blah, blah. The Lord said, no, no. That's right. You got to know all those things are lies. That's right. The devil is a filthy They're all liar. lies. God has provision that we know not even of. Amen. See? For his children. Amen. That he's already got it in the works. He's got, already got it on the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Confess it. Believe it. Yes. Know it. And see it. Hallelujah. Verse 5 again. I've got to say one, one more thing. More thing. <laughs> <laughs> he just bringing all these things to my memory. We had a mulberry tree that we put down by the road. And it was just, actually, there was so much water going down to it when it would rain a whole lot that it was not going to make it if we didn't get it out of there. Right. So it had already taken really good root. Man. had Big, long Good tap Lord. roots Man. and everything else in it. But I knew the Lord said, get it out of there and plant it up here on the hill. And so we got it out of there, but we had to cut some major roots yep. to so get it So we put it in a big pot. Out. We put it in a big pot. We put it in a big pot, and it didn't look like it was going to make it. And I just prayed over it. I, and I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, you made this tree. You made those roots go, and you put it in our heart to move it, too. So I know you're going to bring it and let it flourish. And I just confess that every day to the tree and to the Lord. And then pretty soon, here comes new growth. Right. Here comes new leaves. Here comes new stuff spurting out. And then we were able to plant it. Now it's up pretty good. But it takes a while after you've had to... Oh boy, this is a message in itself. It takes a while when you have to cut a major root that's got, the, got its scent thing down strong. It takes a while for it to come back. Amen. See, But see, God's faithful. God's faithful in everything. It does not matter what it That's is right. in everything. And you plug in by faith, don't you? Mm -hmm. You have to plug in and, and keep it there and just say, Lord, I'm just going to trust you no matter what. I saw this picture one time and there was this big plug up in the heavens and there was this big cord plugged into that <laughs> and it was like, and it's, it said exactly that. 
plugged in. Stay plugged in. Yeah. See, because he's the power. He's the source. That's right. He, he's it. He's the life giver, man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Read verse 5. Hallelujah. That's good. Psalm and 89. And the heavens. Five. And the heavens. Shall praise thy wonders, oh, O hallelujah. Lord, thy hallelujah. faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. Keep going. For who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. It's oh, a hallelujah. holy fear. He's holy, man. Of God. Woo, hallelujah. Verse 8. And do you tremble? At the presence of God. I mean, oh, you can hallelujah. be feel like oh, it. hallelujah. It's a just a holy reverence for God. You tremble at His word. Yes. You tremble at His presence. You know, just there's been times waking up that I just feel the trembling of the Lord in my spirit, just like an earthquake, just tremble and shaking. You know, and it's like He's saying, "I'm here." That's right. And I'm taking care of it. Don't be concerned about yourself and your situation. I will take care of you. Amen, amen, amen. Verse 7. God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. Keep going. O Lord God of hosts, who is a strong Lord like unto thee? Who is a strong Lord like Who unto thee? Who is a strong Lord like Ooh. unto thee? Or to thy faithfulness round about thee? Nothing Ooh. but the Lord. Verse 9. Thou rulest the raging of the sea. When the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Oh, hallelujah. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered <clears throat> thine enemies with thy strong arm. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. The heavens are thine. That's what the psalmist Ethan said. The heavens are thine. The earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. Thou hast done it, Lord. <clears throat> the north and the south Thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Woo, hallelujah. Verse 13, thou hast a mighty, a mighty arm. Strong is thy hand. And high is thy right hand. Oh, hallelujah. Keep going, honey. Verse 14. Justice and judgment. Are the habitation <coughs> of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. See, we have to keep this in mind that God is with us. He lives inside of us. He's holy. He says, follow me. Oh, we got to follow the Lord today, every day. Hallelujah. And behold his countenance. See, I can see the Lord in my wife working in her and working through her. And I pray she can see the Lord in me working in me and through me. See, and we want to see the Lord working in your life and working through you. Hallelujah in a mighty way. Hallelujah. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. If we stay plugged in, hallelujah, and don't let anything cut that cord, hallelujah, amen. Verse 17. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. 18, keep reading. For the Lord is our defense. See, that's the deal. A lot of times when things happen, people want to be their own defense. 
Yeah. What did Jesus do? See, he's our example. Right. People came after him. They slandered him. They lied about him. They did all this stuff. But what was his response? He said not a word. Amen. He said not a word. See, the Lord vindicates. Remember that song by Marty Getz? He is my defense. I shall not be moved. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. <laughs> he is my defense. I shall not be moved. He is my defense. I shall not be moved, I shall not, not be moved, I shall not, not be moved, hallelujah, see, and God, because God is our defense, for the Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our King, Ooh, praise God, verse 19, Sharon, then thou spakest in vision to thy Holy One, and saidest, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. Ooh, I found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established. Mine arm also shall strengthen him. O oh, David my servant, that's Christ Jesus. See, this is a prophecy. And Jesus says, come here. I'm going to anoint you to go and do my work, you see. And when Jesus gives you the anointing, he, if you're born again and filled with the Spirit of God, you have the anointing. Jesus has given you an anointing, and you plug in, stay plugged into him, and he will show you what that is. Raise a family, run a business, whatever it is. Get ministry, go into ministry, whatever kind of ministry, and trust the Lord. That's what he's told us to do, right? I mean, he put us in it. He said, start your own business. And we went into homes all over where we used to live in Oklahoma. And we ministered to people while we were in there. We were ministering to them. And then doing he said, warfare. don't do that anymore. He yeah. said, I don't want you doing that anymore. I want you to do this. So this is what we're doing now, see? And we didn't know anything. We're still learning. Amen. We know we got to stay plugged in. Amen. He showed me that today. You got to <laughs> stay plugged in. You got to stay plugged in. And we get unplugged when we start worrying, when we let that spirit that's of worry. The truth. Yeah. And, and no, we're not going to go there. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's so, whatever truth. you're doing, whatever's going on in your life, you stay plugged into the Lord. Hallelujah. You, you got to know, too, that the enemy <coughs> always wants to steal the oil, you know. He wants to get you off track in another kind of way to steal the oil of the Lord. Now, I want to read this again. Look at, look at verse 20. God says, I have found David my servant with my holy oil. I have I anointed him with whom my hand shall be established. Mine arm also shall strengthen him. Oh, hallelujah. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face mm. and plague them that hate him. See, that's what happened. When Jesus was crucified, they had rejected the Holy One. I mean, totally rejected the living God. And they crucified Jesus. But three days later, he came out of the tomb. And roughly about 40 years later, that whole city was burnt to the ground and toppled over. It was so bad. If you go read Josephus' account of what happened to Jerusalem when the Roman army surrounded it. And Jesus prophesied it to be so. See? Because he took care of his enemies. That's all there is to it. They did it to themselves. See? When, you re when a person rejects God, it's like they're swinging the door wide open for destruction. They're swinging the door wide open for death. See? The Bible even says it in Proverbs, those that love sin, I mean, that, you know, they love sin, they love death. They love death. They love it. Okay? 
But the Bible says, The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness, verse 24, Psalm 89, And my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. Oh, the power. Hallelujah. In, in the name of the Lord. It's not us. It's the Lord. It's not any of his children. It's the Lord in us. Hallelujah. Verse 25. I will set his hand also in the sea <coughs> and his right hand in the rivers. Ooh. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my Father, my God, and, and the rock of my salvation. Also I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. Ooh, hallelujah! My mercy will I keep for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him keep reading his seed also that's will us. I make that's us. to ahead. endure for forever forever and his throne as the days of heaven Hallelujah. Now, if his children forsake my law right, get unplugged and walk not in my judgments if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments verse 32 principle mm. then will i visit their transgression with the rod mm. and their iniquity with stripes nevertheless my loving kindness will i not utterly take from him nor suffer my faithfulness to fail see god he brings discipline into a believer's life that's exactly right in order for them to turn back to god god says i'm not forsaken god says i'm married to the backslider okay God doesn't want a backslider to keep on sliding. He wants him to turn around. Right. So he's a good repent. father. That's he's right. He's a good father. He disciplines his children. <coughs> That's Absolutely. a good father. That's a good parent. That's right. That disciplines their children. Amen. It says spare the rod. If you're going to spare the rod, if you're going to spare the discipline, then you're going to spoil the child. What Amen. do we got today? A bunch of spoiled brat children uh, adults, in this world adults spoiled brat adults because they were of no discipline kids. <laughs> no discipline and given everything they want yeah. they're spoiled brats and they expect that the rest of their life see discipline is a godly principle god disciplines his children and he says very plainly if you spoil the rod with your children or if you spare the rod, you don't discipline them, then they're going to be spoiled. Amen. Oh, hello. And what are they trying to do now? Make it so parents want Can't. try yeah. to scare them into not discipline right. their child That's right. children. That's right. Oh, praise God. God's Ooh. faithful. You know, he. There's so much in this this psalm. I know. He he brought me to, when when the. God does it, man. He gives the word. <laughs> then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness, verse 33, Psalm 89, will I not, uh, not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. Look at verse 34. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Verse 35, Sharon. Once have I sworn by my holiness <coughs> that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. Before me. Ooh, keep reading. It shall be established forever as the moon, and as a faithful witness in heaven. Selah. Selah. Think about that. But thou hast cast off and abhorred, abhorred. Thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. Thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant. Thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Thou hast broken down all his hedges. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. Why is this happening? Because, see, the kings of Judah, in their progression after David, they didn't stay plugged in. You see, they didn't stay plugged in. Okay? Look. God says it. But thou hast cast off and abhorred. Thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. Thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant. 
Thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Thou hast, thou hast broken down all his hedges. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by, it says, all that pass by the way spoiled him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword. Thou hast not made him to stand in the battle. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when you get unplugged, I'm telling you. Yeah. And it happened to many kings of Judah. Mm -hmm. Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame, Selah. How long, Lord? Wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Keep reading, Sharon, verse 47. Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Selah. And then the psalmist keeps crying. Go ahead. Lord, <coughs> where are thy former loving kindnesses, which thou swearest unto David in thy truth? Mm. Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servants. How I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people. David, he just poured his heart out to God. Mm. Wherewith thine enemies have repro reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thine anointed. Blessed be the Lord forevermore. Amen and amen. He amen, cried out to amen, God. Amen. You know, all that he went through and everything. And he had many enemies, too. Oh, yes. David had many enemies. God's people have had enemies. God's people have enemies today. We are the winners. If we stay plugged in and stay in the battle, keep walking the walk, because Jesus is the one doing the walking in us and through us. We surrender to him, stay plugged in, and say, Lord, I want to do what you want me to do today. I know this day is the day that you've made. I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to be glad in it because you give me that, Lord. You give me your rejoicing. You give me your joy. You give me your faith. You give me your love. See? And when it's dependent upon the Lord, you have it 100%. I mean, it's him. It's the Lord in us. Amen? If you try to make it, if you try to do it, it's always going to fail. Always. See? Amen? Yeah, it might even make it, everything worse. It does make things worse. Mm -hmm. Father God, we thank you today that your word is supreme. Hallelujah. Your word is truth. Thank you, Jesus, that you came to this earth. Son of David. Son of man. Son of God. To bear witness unto the truth. And you showed your great love by your sacrifice. Oh, we praise and worship you today. We pray, Lord, that you help us. Keep us plugged into you, Lord. Do what you have to do, Lord, to, to keep us always plugged in throughout the day and night. Hallelujah. As we await your return, let us be about your business, loving and praising and forgiving and going forward and doing what you say, Lord, and helping and supporting and just listening to you, Lord. Speak to us through your word, by your spirit in the inner man, through brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh, God. Have your way with your church today. Touch everyone, Lord, with that touch that they need today in every area of their life. Touch us here, Lord. And crush the devil, serpent, dragon under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so faithful. He's so good. So loving. Amen. Hallelujah. You have anything you want to add? <laughs> He's good. He's faithful. Yeah. And 
it's just amazing he'll he'll show you when you think you're down to yeah. whatever that he's got supply for you that he knows about yeah that's right he does know it praise God yeah we have the Lord amen mm -hmm. glory to Jesus Let's say that to ourselves today as we walk through the yard. We have the Lord. The Lord is with us. Hallelujah. And we're walking with Him because of it's His grace. You see, that saved us. Amen? Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord bless you, saints, and keep you. Make His holy face to shine upon you. The Lord our God lift up His holy countenance upon you. Grant you peace. The Lord be gracious unto you. His name his authority, his character and dominion and rule and reign be in and upon your life today as you go forward conquering and to conquer in the mighty humility of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. All glory to the Father in Jesus' name. By the blood of the Lamb. Amen.